somebody asked me a question and it led to another question. Man, if there's a ratio in life of breaking hearts and getting your heart broken. And I feel like it's really, 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 it's really a, a hard subject to really address because Sometimes you can feel like the victim, and as you talk about being a victim, you may realize that you, you're the bad guy, and Michael is the bad guy in the process of, like, thinking about everything, but I low-key, me, I may be the victim, you know, um, so I was thinking about, like, who, how many times I have my heart broken, and I have my heart broken off the top of my head, like, five times. And those five moments, I don't think those five people even know. So that's make it even more like being the victim and being a bad person. Because I know I've broken some hearts. And I've definitely broken more unintentionally than intentionally. I, I had like maybe a few people who I heart I broke on purpose. But everybody else has been like... You had some input on your heart getting broke. It wasn't completely me. I remember the first time I had my, I say my heart broken. It was something real, real simple that the person, you know, they realized they did it. Um, when I was in middle school, I had um, brought a girl a Valentine's gift. Her name was Mary. And I had brought Mary a a Valentine's gift. And looking back on it, Mary didn't like me at all. But I didn't understand why she didn't like me because you want to know why, you know, you want to know why somebody don't like you. And she was nice to me, but she didn't like me like that. And it kind of like, it made me mad because like, I liked her like that, but I really didn't understand why she didn't like me like that. 2020 Hans, I know why she didn't like me like that. Uh, I was quite annoying growing up, and I didn't understand the fact that, you know, when it comes to women, a woman knows she likes you or not, so you ain't got to waste too much time trying to get her to like you. You know, that's something I didn't know, of course, at the age of, like, mm, this was 2000, and it was, like, 1999, actually, so... I was 10, 11, 12, 11, 12. Disabled vehicle ahead. Time frame. And I had like really was trying to get with her. And you know the crazy thing about it though? When you are my age and you're trying to get with somebody, you're just trying to get their phone number. You know, so I got my heart broken trying to get a freaking phone number. So I had gave Mary a gift for Valentine's Day. And I was just happy. You know, I bought it to him Valentine's Day. I think Valentine's Day may have been like on a Friday or something. So I had brought Mary the gift and I was super excited. I was super happy for this. And I was like, I gave it to her. We had lockers right by each other. So it was easy. I was like, man, I got you this for Valentine's Day. She said, like, oh, Mike, you shouldn't have. You know, she took it. And then, like, two weeks later, this one, my heart got broken. Um, one of her friends, all right, female friends, had brought the bear to school. And I was like, hey, where'd you get that from? And she was like, oh, Mary gave it to me for Valentine's Day. I was like, what? What? You know? So I was just super hurt. And then I was trying to confront her about it, but it was kind of weird because, like, I didn't, you know, I was too heartbroken. And that's when this whole, when I'm heartbroken, I shut down. So I had did that, and I was, like, done with Mary. But I liked Mary. So I liked Mary to probably, like, 11 grade. I liked her a lot until about 11 grade. Because when I like somebody, I like them for a long time because I don't, I don't really like them much. So it took a lot for me to like you. So, that was, like, the first, like, uh, heartbreak. And then, like, I was dating this girl named Brittany. And me and Brittany, like, 
me and Brittany got overlapping stories when if me and Brittany was to sit down and talk about our dating history. Uh, Brittany was talking to my homeboy Marquise, and they were dating, and they hooked me up with Melanie, and me and Melanie started talking, but Melanie wouldn't, like, make a long story short. Melanie was a good girl, and, you know, Brittany was a freak, but Brittany knew how to um, manipulate and get her away, so um, Marquise had just randomly left school and went to another school, and I ain't talked to Marquise for about two or three months. So, me and Brittany started talking, and me and Brittany started dating. And, like, I never thought in my head at that moment to talk to Marquise because I haven't talked to Marquise. I didn't know how to talk. I didn't know how to get in contact with Marquise. So, me and Brittany started dating, and she was giving me that whole her and Marquise still friend stuff. So, it didn't bother me because I was like, okay. All right. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So everything was good. No problems. No issues. And then, literally, um, on my, I'm guesstimating right now. I want to say maybe 15th birthday. I think it was 15th birthday. And when I had really thought about it, I was happy, because me and Brittany, like, you know, I had snuck, I had just snuck over Brittany's house, you know, we know, we had a good time, you know, and then, like, there's a disabled vehicle ahead, after my birthday, I got my car, and then, literally, a few minutes later, me and Marquise finally talked, and Marquise was like, hey, you, you and Brittany together? I was like, yeah, man, blah, blah, blah. He was like, oh, crap, man. You know something? I was like, what? He was like, man, me and Brittany, me and Brittany together still. And I was like, what? Y'all together? So we caught her on three-way. And when we caught her on three-way, it was weird because being honest, Brittany gave, like, I was listening to the three-way conversation and Brittany was like, she was trying to break up with Marquise on the phone and it was weird because like me and Brittany had been dating for a few months so for her to be on the phone with Marquise trying to break up with him I was like mm, it's kind of weird so I got mad and uncomfortable so I hung up the phone with her or whatever and then I called Brittany and I was like well Brittany I know the truth and this this and that you know I'm not even going to be mad about it you know I should have known you know I took ownership for the, the situation because I should have talked to Marquise first before I started dating Marquise X, which was actually his current girlfriend. In two miles, take exit 418B for I-20 East towards Shreveport. So that's like my second time. And my third time was definitely when I was in, um, I was definitely in high school. And this one definitely weird here because like, I dated this person. Me and, um, definitely me and Ashley me and Ashley was dating and everything was good I was the worst boyfriend ever but um, this was after actually you know something it happened after high school we were in college so we were in college, and we would just have, like, a random conversation. We always had these, like, confession conversations where we, like, you know, we'd be trying to verbally outdo somebody. She's like, well, I did this, I did that. And it was always some petty stuff, you know, like, well, I got this phone number, I got this phone number. Well, I did this, I did that. And most of the time, our conversations were based on a previous story that we didn't finish. So... It was never, like, lies. You know what I'm saying? Or if it was a lie, it was involved in another situation. So, I was, like, talking, and I had said something. And she was like, well, Mike, I got a confession. You're not going to get mad, are you? And I was like, no. Nah, you know, I'm like, shit. You ain't going to get mad at nothing. Cause I didn't do worse shit than you. So, to make a long story short, um... Ashley had um, told me about a year prior she was going home after a party and she went to go hang out with uh, one of my homeboys 
but my home my homeboy he like me and Ashley would see that see 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 that's another part of the situation right there that I want to backtrack real quick. Me and Ashley was together, but not together. We weren't boyfriend and girlfriend, but we were together. And that's something I learned at a young age. Like, I'm okay with it now, but at that age. So, I was hurt because she decided, to be honest, I was hurt because she decided to go to his hotel party instead of come see me. Because I wasn't mad they messed around. I was really mad because I was like, so you rather go hang out with him than me? Because, you know, when you, you know, you 18, you're super prideful. So, and this was a time where I think me and her both were learning about each other. She know, like me, she was learning I wasn't no good, but I had potential. And with her, I always thought she wasn't going nowhere. So I definitely didn't appreciate her the past maybe two years because I was like, you ain't going nowhere. We we getting married. We having kids. We stuck with each other. And I was just content with, you know, I'm going to be with Ashley forever. I never saw me doing anything else besides being with Ashley until that moment. That was the moment where I was like, nah, we done. Like, I could no longer emotionally invest in a relationship. And it was weird because 2020 hindsight, that would never happen again. But unfortunately, you know, it happened with somebody I really, really, really cared for. So that was definitely part of the extreme heartbreak that I experienced with her, with that relationship. And then I would say um, another one was when, um, oh, crap, Amy. So, Amy was this uh, Brazilian girl I had met when we, when I was in the military, and she was from Long Beach, but she was living in Lubbock, and Amy, like, at that point, Amy was the baddest I ever, ever, ever had, like, I liked everything about her, she was cute, but I would say this, she was the definition of love at first sight. So when I fell in love with her at first sight, I was blinded by everything possible that could ever encounter with that relationship. And, you know, uh, I guess we didn't really officially date or anything. You know, we was just together. You know, it wasn't, no, this is our first day, whatever, whatever. It was whatever Amy want, Amy got from me. And I just, you know, I supported Amy the best way I could at that moment of a, man, I think I was 20. I wasn't even 21 yet. Maybe 20. It couldn't have been 21. I was maybe like 20. And I liked Amy a lot. And I was like, you know what? I had finally recovered over Ashley. So I was like, I'm going to be with Amy forever. And it was weird because like doing those, I was a player player. And I met Amy and I woke up done. I woke up done with the world because I met Amy. And then after I met Amy, everything was good for probably like probably about two months. She went back to love it. And it was crazy for her. I paid for her to go back to love it. So I paid for her. Man, you know, I be tricking. Man, I do be tricking. I just realized that having this conversation. <laughs> Yeah, so I paid for her to go back to Lubbock. We were talking, blah, blah, blah. We was having really good conversation. We were building. We was going to be together. But Amy kept telling me, she was like, Michael, you know, you need to find you a good woman. I'm not the one for you. And whenever somebody tell you they ain't the good woman for you or good for you, that got a trigger in your head. All right, all right, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, but you ain't getting the same energy. But, you know, at that point of my life, I was just young and dumb and just happy to be with Amy. So, after that uh, Amy experience, we went like another, man, Amy, maybe we went like maybe five months. So, during that last month, man, it was weird because she was like, I'm not going to say distance, but you know, I'll call Amy. She wouldn't answer. And it just be weird because I'm like, man, we talk all the time. No, why you don't want to talk now? And Amy must have butt down me one night, and she had just.